uh, drum corps, you know, our product. You've been using it for a few years now. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could tell us how you use it. Like, like, is it just for jamming? Do you use more of the audio loops, more of the MIDI side of things? Drum corps for me has been a godsend. And it, it, it's simply because I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a programmer. You know, I can program drums and I've done it, I've done it many times. But it's as dull as dishwater. You know, if you've got an idea and you want to get the idea executed quickly, you know, putting down a book, 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 won't see you through. But it gives you nothing in return. It gives you no spark. There is no energy from it. There's no vibe from it. There's no excitement. Uh, whereas with drum look, I can, I've got a whole slew of drummers, great, you know, world-class professional drummers that I can call on at any moment and drag them into my little uh, sequencer. And there, all of a sudden, I've got, you know, uh, some phenomenal feel going on, you know, and I can play with that. And that gives me the basis to throw my ideas down on. Now, originally, when I, when I got drum corps, I thought, well, it's a great tool just for that, then I'll replace all the drums. But when I found myself in Canada last year, living there, uh, in the middle of one of the worst winters they'd had in 60 years, uh, in the middle of nowhere, uh, making an album, I, I was using drum loop and I decided to keep drum loop as the as the drum parts. That enhanced with you know various little bits of program I was doing, and I defy drummers to tell me that I have not used a drummer <laughs> on there, that I have not had a session guy in to come and do it, because it's so good. And and for me, the fact that it's so incredibly quick. And instant, instant gratification is what you get. Yeah. You know, you want someone to put a bit of feel onto a track that you're doing. You've got all these lovely discs there who don't argue back. <laughs> you, know, <so> <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you don't get the, you don't get the drummer going. Well, you know, I think it should be that. You know, you've got this fantastic thing which you're in control of, and that's just that's brilliant. It's, the immediacy of it is great, and the quality of the, the recordings is phenomenal. So how do you find like beats? I mean, do you just kind of go through there and find something that's interesting and start playing guitar along with it or a keyboard sound? Well, that's the, you know, finding beats is, is reasonably easy. I mean, it's, it's a bit like finding a, the, the sound. You can spend weeks and weeks and weeks, you know, you play a part and then assign various sounds from a yeah, keyboard right, right. part and, and have millions of sounds. You can spend weeks, months just finding the sound that you, you particularly like, yeah. you know, and that's one of the downsides of technology. Um, but but with with uh, drum coding, you, you look at it and you're like, well, you've already eliminated, you know, a whole pile of what you've got right. there. You know, some of them three, four, some are cowboy kind of country and western things, some are reggae, so that doesn't fit your track. Some are rock, thrash, metal, so that goes out the window. You know, so you can already eliminate it. You've right. got you've got it all categorised by the type of drummer it is. Um, so it's not a long-winded process to find the stuff you like. And once you've got the beat, you've got variations on that beat. You know, some of the bright symbols or different hi-hat patterns. Yeah. And they're so easily editable to pick up and drop in and change. So, so all of that stuff is great. So you can actually get the fills to take you into the chorus. Right. And you get variations on of that, on all of that. So that's, that to me is great. It's, it's fast, it's instantaneous. If you're sitting in the studio and you, you don't want to spend days and days and days, you no. know, getting the ultimate drum pattern, you can pull some of this stuff across and someone has spent hours, days, weeks right. recording the, this brilliant drum kit tuned to perfection in a great sounding room with the best mics in the world through a fabulous desk with a great engineer. Yeah. I can't compete with that. Right. You know, I cannot do that. I went to meet up with the guys from Rush. Uh, they asked me to produce an album for them way, way, way back. And I met up with them in Toronto. And uh, of course the questions were, you know, where's a great place to get a drum sound? And I said, well, I have no idea. You know, to, uh, get yourself a really good engineer and you'll get your drum sound anywhere. You know, and they didn't want to hear that. But that's, that's my attitude towards it. Get a great engineer, get a great desk, get a lovely room. Record it. So you, you, think you don't have to go to Tahiti to do it. You know, you don't have to go to Australia to do it. You know, there, you can do it in your bedroom if you want. So you think the drum sounds and drum core are on a par there? You think? I think I think the drum sounds and drum core are, are phenomenal. You know, you, someone spent a lot of time. Someone who really knows what they're doing 
we spent a lot of time, a lot of effort to get them to that level, to that standard. And I, I really can't compete with that. Well, they do labour over it. <laughs> and they'll be happy to hear that, maybe. Well, you know, we appreciate it, guys. It's true. You know, yeah. you can hear it. You can hear someone spent a lot of time and effort and love uh, on making those things.